Hey everyone, welcome to your first day of art class. I'm Mr. Thompson and I'm going to be your teacher this year. I'm excited to be teaching for y'all and uh, I know it's going to be a little different than what we're used to, but we're going to get through this together, okay? So I'm going to go over the procedures and expectations and here we go. So first day, August 17th or August 18th, depending on what your schedule looks like. For If you're in Second, third, and fourth period, you'll be, this will be your first day. If you're fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth, you'll, August 18th will be your first day. Okay, so here's what the schedule looks like. Um, there's going to be meet links posted on these periods. So whichever period you're in, you can click on the meet link. They're also posted in your Google Classroom. So I just posted this here so you guys could see your schedule. So for second period, Monday, Wednesday, 10.05 to 11.05, Friday, 9.35 to 10.05. Third period, Monday, Wednesday, 12.15 to 1.15, Friday, 10.10 to 10.40. Fourth period, Monday, Wednesday, 1.20 to 2.20, Friday, 10.45 to 11.15. Uh, sixth period, Tuesday, Thursday, 10.05 to 11.05, Friday, 12.30 to 1. Seventh period, Tuesday, Thursday, 1215 to 115, Friday, 105 to 135, and eighth period, Tuesday, Thursday, 120 to 220, and Friday, 140 to 210. And this schedule should already be posted on your Google class. I just wanted to go over it with y'all again. Okay, so you click on any one of these, which period you're in. If you're asynchronous and you miss a class, you can, you can, you're more than welcome to join us on one of our other class meetings, okay? But make sure you do your work when you're supposed to have it done. If you're in my fifth period level up class on Tuesday and Thursday, we will be doing the Pledge of Allegiance at the beginning of the class. Okay. All right. So champs, if you're new to the district, you may or may not be familiar with champs. If you've been with us in this district, you should already know what champs is, but I'm going to go over it anyway. So C is for conversation. The voice level is zero for silent. So I want you guys to use those mics, the mute on your mics. Um, if you have a question, use that chat feature. Just type it in the chat, um, and I promise I'll get to you as soon as I can. or get to your question as soon as I can. Um, as far as if, if, I, if I'm taking too long, you can unmute and ask a question. That's fine. Um, just make sure you mute your mic back before you're done. Um, there's three different... Conversation levels, zero for silent, one is for whisper, and two is for quiet. Only your group can hear you. Um, this typically applies to face-to-face -face instruction. So for as far as online learning goes, I mean, like I said, just use that um, mute your mic feature unless I call on you or um, you have an urgent question that can't wait. All right. So H is for help. Um, if you if you need help, raise your hand. I can still see you. Um, and if I if I don't see you, use that chat feature. Okay. Um, this is also uh, applies for mainly um, face to face. But ask a teammate. So you guys type the type in that chat feature. If one of you knows the answer to it before I can get to you. Feel free to help each other out. Use that chat feature to answer each other's questions as well. Uh, it's asking me a question. Feel free to help each other out. Okay, reference, refer to notes. All right, so make sure you guys are taking notes. It'll help um, for you to comprehend stuff and just help, you know, if help you pay attention. There we go, jeez. All right, activity. A is for activity. Um, independent, completing work silently by yourself. Um, partner work so from time to time, generally in face-to-face -face instruction, we will do partner work. Um, but for the majority of our artwork is done independently. And then the last one is taking notes. Um, please take notes. It's very, it's a, very essential to all your classes for you to be successful. All right, so movement. Uh, for online learning, movement is stay seated. I'd like to, I'd like for you to stay seated, keep your um, 
cameras on so I can see your faces and just make sure you're paying attention. Um, be engaged, okay? So sit in front of your camera, take notes, um, make sure that I can see you. Don't be distracted, but I don't, you know, like something on TV or something. Just uh, focus on the class when we're in the class, okay? Um, the other for face-to-face -face instruction is movement as needed, stay safe, respect and responsible, and then uh, limited, return to your seat quickly. Uh, for online learning, synchronous, I want you guys to stay seated with your camera on so I can see you and pay attention. Uh, participation is what P stands for, taking notes. See, they, uh, the taking notes is in, in, in all of them almost. Partner work, which I discussed, you, you may have a couple um, partners throughout some of the assignments, but the majority is independent learning and participation, accountable talk, think, pair, share, use academic vocabulary. All right, and the last one is success. Make sure you give your best effort to learn new concepts. Okay, so for your do now, this is our daily, one of our daily procedures. Um, generally in face-to-face, -face, when you come into the classroom, we'll all have some kind of a um, success starter is what some of your other teachers call them. I call them do now. Uh, for your do now, I want you to turn on your camera and mute your mic if you haven't already. Um, and this is your do now. So I'll have this assignment posted. This will be your first assignment. Um, will count as your first assignment. You're going to write down three things on a piece of paper. What is one of your favorite songs? What is one of your favorite movies? And what is one of your favorite sport activities or video games? Okay, so synchronous learners, you have five minutes. There's a little timer here. If you're asynchronous, which if you're watching this video, there's a a chance that you are. You can switch back and forth depending on your own preferences. I'm going to start this timer right here and um, you have five minutes. Go find yourself paper if you don't have it already and a, a pen or a pencil and write down the answers for these three questions that I asked you. Um, you can start the timer on your own. I'm just going through this for you so I'm not going to do it for now. All right, so make sure you turn in that do now. Sorry, let's go back. Make sure you turn in that do now on the assignment that will be counted for your attendance credit. All right, so make sure you do that. All right, so another part of our daily procedures, we go over the learning target, the what, how, and why. So for today's learning target, you're going to learn how to turn in our assignments and navigate through the slide decks. Um, we will learn the procedures for turning in our work by how by written verbal visual instruction and demonstration and why to successfully submit and get credit for our work all right unit organizer where are we all right so if you see down here it says uo launch that's where we will be when we launch the uo next week um there will be a live link there so after we get started you can click on that for each for each section of the uo that we're on okay Um, the unit organizer is something that we started using last year and it's been so far been helpful and successful um, so we're going to continue using it this is what it looks like overall all right online classroom rules so if you're synchronous I want you to be logging in on the time that that we're supposed to be logging in. Don't join the meeting, you know, five, ten minutes late or even later than that. Um, be respectful. Listen actively. Act actively participate. Complete and submit your assignments. Mute your microphones until it is your turn to speak. All right. Student responsibilities. It's your responsibility to log in daily or assign meeting times. Turn your camera on. Ask and answer questions. Take turns participating daily in classroom discussions. Complete packets and turn in work on time. Work independently or in groups when assigned. 
and be an active member of the virtual community. All right, these are your responsibilities to do these. Unacceptable behavior. So no, no cursing, inappropriate gestures or memes, uh, no negative feedback on others' works or comments, and posting negativity, bully others in chats, all right? So just be positive to each other. Treat others the way you want them to treat you, right? All right, supply list. Um, for as of right now, the only supplies that you really need are pencils and a drawing sketchbook or a ream of white paper. Um, it'll also be helpful if you had some color pencils, but this is the rest of the stuff that's on your supply list. Also post it on your Google Classroom. All right, so how to submit your work. I want you, the majority of our assignments, you're gonna be taking a picture of your work. Um, click add or create right here um, for the classroom assignment. Upload your picture, submit it in the classroom assignment, and then mark is done. So this underneath the add or create after you post your work in there, you're gonna mark it as done. And then you can type in your comments, hey, I did my assignment, and then I'll respond to you. Good job. Okay. So I have a video here for, um, it shows you how to take a picture with your web camera on your Chromebook and save it so you can use it to take pictures of your work. Um, you can also use your phone and just save it in your Google Drive and then uh, upload it to your classroom. There's many different ways to do it. Just uh, make sure you get a picture of your work so you can submit it. Uh, asynchronous learners, you can watch this video. Drawing assignment, all right? So this is your first assignment, all right? So you'll have 10 minutes if you're synchronous to complete it. Um, draw an experience from your summer break. I know that many of you were stuck inside like, like myself, but think of things you may have done to keep yourself entertained or occupied. Did you start a garden? Get a pet, start a new hobby, draw something, even if it's a drawing of yourself watching Netflix. I did plenty of that this summer, I'll tell you that. Your drawing will be how I check attendance today, so make sure you submit it. You have 10 minutes to complete your drawing. If you're asynchronous, of course, you could take as long as you want. Just make sure you submit it by 11.59 tonight if you're in second, third, or fourth period. Exit ticket. If you're sixth, seventh, or eighth period, it has to be submitted by tomorrow, 11.59. That's August 18th, okay? Exit ticket. All right, for your exit ticket, I want you to write an explanation of how we turned in our assignment on the same paper you use for your do now. So you'll be turning in your drawing that you did for your assignment and your do now. So you're gonna take a picture of both those. And for your exit ticket, I want you to write an explanation, which will go on the same paper as your do now. An explanation of how we turn in our assignments on the same paper you use for your do now. How do we turn in our assignments? So if you forgot, I'm gonna go over it again. You're gonna take a picture and upload it. All right, so make sure you turn those in. If there's any questions, feel free to email me um, or join in one of the chats. Uh, my conference period is from his first period on Monday and Wednesday and Friday. Okay, so you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoy the rest of your, your day. Welcome back to school. I'm excited to see what, 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 we, can, what we can do. All right, have a great day.